Uh, low tier McDonald's things. Yep, these are from last week, mate. Can't forget about Bob Sinclair. That's fun for seconds. And then, you know, even worse is this thing. Oi. Oh, I forgot that's jam. Ah. I actually just shut up. No one cares. I don't think anything good has ever come in a McDonald's Happy Meal. Well, I mean, except for this exquisite Trek watch. Well, you heard those horribly bit crushed samples of audio, and I bet you're all thinking to yourself, well, my someone should take that quality of audio and then make it its own, like, bespoke format that you can, like, go to school and trade things with and then, like, kind of wish that you never did. Well, unbelievably, the thing that I'm going to show you, which had a really big, healthy life, right, selling for years and years and years, had its roots as a McDonald's throw-in. I'm being serious. Cool's mate, now I'm stronger than yesterday. Hey! Mom's Corolla has gone away because we didn't pay Reggio and left it on the street where they towed it away. And it was so stinking popular that people demanded it be its own thing. And well, this is meant to be one of the most corporate ways that you could sell music. Literally like four bucks for a little one minute compressed dingus, right? It is my privilege to introduce to you. Hold on to your standards of what you deem an acceptable form of portable music. It's the hit clips. Two position volume switch. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. oh man, I've never seen features like that, man. Oh, look at that logo there. Tiger. I mean, they've only made good things. They've never made terrible things. Ever. Not once. Maybe many times. Hit it. Coming at you right between the ears is Hit Clip. This type package is small, but pumps out monster sound. Hey. Plus, with the micro boombox, load the mother load. Some of these songs available now. More this fall, you can collect them all. Well, this is the earphone player because they got a whole smorgasbord of just things that you don't really want. Man, you got a necklace, boombox. Ugh. Micro audio pen. Oh, mate, it's the MP3 pen all over again. <laughs> 2002 Tiger Electronics fits on your ear. Well, you'd hope it would. It's called the earphone player. <laughs> Includes special one minute micro mix. Mate, it's got NSYNC's girlfriend on it. Yeah, just what I've been wanting. Oh man, batteries included. That's very kind. Let's release the smells. Bum, 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 bum. Bum. Oh good, it goes everywhere. Oh, excellent. I'm learning that most of this is plastic waste. Yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah. Plastic waste. <laughs> oh man, no, there you go. That's that's what you get. <laughs> oh no, not button boys. No, not button boys. Well, I mean they're in there. Let's see if they're still going. Oh, just what I wanted, like a heavily bit crush version of NSYNC's girlfriend smashed through just one of my ears. That goes in nice. It works! Oh my gosh, there's my volume options! Oh! They've done it! Tiger, you've done it! That's the worst thing I've ever heard! I'm not even laughing about it, I'm being dead serious! That is the worst version of anything I've ever heard! And you have to listen through this fuggly little speaker in here! There's no fluffy bit, there's nothing! <laughs> And the best bit, because it's got this thing hanging off the end of it, this dangles from your ear too. I mean, it shows you how much output this thing has, the fact that it runs on three dingers button boys. You've got a play button, and you've got high-low volume. That's it! Now, mate, imagine if I wasted even more money on this hit clips ecosystem. Oh, thank dingus, mate. I've got Hillary Duff. I can't wait. The remix version. <laughs> Plays old hit clips micro music. That's not a cromulent sentence. Plays old hit clips micro music. But this isn't the player. Oh, clippable, collectible music. I mean, the idea is that, like, you know, you go to school and you go, mate, I'll trade your 16 in sync girlfriends for half your sandwich, hey? Pretty sure that's the economy on these. Anything funny? No, nope, it just tries to upsell you to more crappy things of this. Yeah, as usual, it's like 98% plastic waste. <laughs> there, there you go. That's the product right there. Oh, gotta have a look. Give me it. 
Hey, this is the best bit of this. Give it. Like, it's so thin sounding. Is even with it right on my ear, and it only goes on one ear. Like you can't just jump it over to the other side. It gets really tiring just having one ear getting smashed with music. I know a lot of people used to it. I ain't. Well, oh, mate, imagine if I wasted even more money on this ecosystem. Get back, honky cat. It's a stinking radio adapter. Turns any hit clips player into a terrible radio. I mean, a real FM radio. No bats required. Nice. You could use it in all your hit clips players. I mean, radio doesn't sound good at the best of times, let alone, <laughs> let alone through this thing. And again, they just upsell you on the back. That's all they're interested in. It's like, mate, just keep. I mean, wow, a watch. <laughs> all right. But, oh. Oh no, now I gotta have that watch. I mean, it'd be a great companion for the Shrek watch. That's a collector ball, gotta open it carefully. Ooh, a manual! And it survived! Oh, this is really well illustrated. Oh, I don't care. Yep, that's our man. Well, let's see if we can get content matched. Oh wow, you look great with this hanging off your head! <laughs> uh oh. Come on. Whoa, it works! It actually sounds better than these! <laughs> oh, that's very, very sad. That's very sad when the FM radio is better than the actual pre-packaged ones. Look, I'm sure if you had something better than this stupid earphone player, right? Because a lot of you can have like little boom boxes and whatnot. But man, I don't think these are very high quality audio files. <laughs> I mean, anything that's designed to be a toy that's tradable at schools is going to be as low buck as possible. And yeah, I mean, I'm not against the idea of like going to school and trading stuff, but mm, very disposable. I don't know, mate. Maybe I'm just not being fair, mate. Maybe I just don't have ears set up for it. You know, there are many living creatures here at my house, mate. I mean, I've just got th this one here is, is this snake that is currently stuck in my couch. Hey, Frankie, do you want to hear some Hillary Dove? Yeah? No? Uh, uh, okay, I mean, she's, she's not a fan of the duff. Maybe Frankie's an NSYNC lady. Let's find out. Frank, Frank, it's, it's NSYNC. Do you like... Do you like this one? Do, do you, Frank, do you like NSYNC? Is this your favourite? Is this the one you want to lick? Eh? You can have it, Frank. It's yours to keep. You can... Frank! No, come on! Come on, it's NSYNC! Ooh, look at this random piece of plastic I have. It will serve as a handy coffin for all this nonsense. Safe for storage. Well, that's it. Thanks so much for watching. Huge thanks to my patrons, especially these stinky names right here, because, mate, one dollar a month, I do extra videos, and before I tell you that, you know, I've got Garbage Time, my other channel, mate, where I just basically do anything, there's no rules. And they've got my Garbage Time stream, mate, you know, it's on float plane, you know, I play the drums and throw cymbals at the wall, and all that stupid hot nonsense. Well, this week, I mean, a lot of my patrons asked to see more Frank stuff, and I realized it's been a while since she's been let loose in the couch, mainly because she's been full of poos, and it's not safe to let her in the couch when she's full of poos. Because then usually she's not full of poos anymore. And then you find the poos. And well, mate, so one dollar a month, me and Frank are gonna hang out. And mate, I'll see you all next time. What? What do you know that I don't? Tell me your secrets. You give me your secrets!